Bob is a special little boy. He's very, very nervous and it's only in the past week that he started to be introduced to having a lead on him. It's very, very, very baby steps for him, particularly as he's coming away from the kennels and the dogs are barking. Once he gets into this little area, he's in a com more of a comfort zone. Josh is working with him at the moment, getting Bob used to the fact that being on a lead doesn't mean there's any pressure on his collar and that he walks about on a nice loose lead and he gets lots of sniffs. In other words, going out on a lead is a nice out time for him. You'll notice that there is a half check hanging loose on him. We always have a half check available for dogs like this because once we get out of that fenced area, if the dog tries to slip out of his collar, we incorporate the half check as well as the ordinary collar just to be double safe because to lose a dog like this we'd struggle to get him back. Bob spent a lot of his young life and he's only about a year old with other dogs. With other dogs is grand, he loves them, he understands them, he speaks their language. People are different, he doesn't really understand people, he doesn't understand cuddling and affection but he is getting there. This is the first time this boy has been out of his comfort zone and onto the car park. And he's just having a little wander around, two or three steps at a time, and he gets a stroke. Take him across to the grass verge and look at the difference. All those dog smells for him to go out. He thinks he's absolutely wonderful. Watch when Josh lifts his foot to stamp on a thistle. He does it in a second, and the dog just doesn't bother. So he's not frightened of people. He just doesn't understand them. You see? doesn't affect him at all. Getting rid of the offending thistle, probably the dog appreciated it. He's a lovely lad. He's not ready for homing yet, unless it's to somebody very local who can come and spend at least a couple of hours twice a week with him. That way we'll get into a home faster. If not, we just carry on working with him until he's ready to go. There's a long way to go in his house training. He needs to be more confident on a lead, but watch his progress. We will be putting another video up shortly. He also won't be able to be let off a long line for quite some time, a long time probably, but it's worth it because dogs like this, they become so loyal and so affectionate. They only know what we teach them, which is why we're teaching him that pulling on the lead isn't in anybody's best interest, especially not his. So if he starts to go in front, we don't stop and pull him back. We let him go around in a circle, stroke him and we start off again. See, there we go, round in a circle. Now here is looking at the open gate, Josh is just talking to him and he's decided he wants to go on a little bit. So Josh is taking him further but suddenly I become a scary person with that camera. I didn't realise I was so scary. But Josh just bends down, brings him gently back in and strokes him. Like we say he's not ready for homing yet unless it's to somebody local who can come and spend time with him. But we are working with this dog. He's beautiful, isn't he?